Hey everyone, hope you had a great weekend. Thanks for tuning in. We're gonna kick this week off with another tech tip on Google Docs. Now you all know that I'm a huge fan of Google Docs as a collaborative and productivity tool. Uh, it comes with a bunch of integrated features, but uh, you can actually take the functionality of Google Docs and expand it quite a bit with add-ons. Now add-ons are essentially third-party plugins that give Google Docs new functionality. So let's take a look at how this works. To browse and install available add-ons for Google Docs, what you're going to want to do is have a Google Doc opened, and on the menu bar at the top of the screen, there is a menu that says add-ons. When we click on that, I don't have any add-ons installed right now. Uh, if I did, you would see the list of installed add-ons in this menu. In this case, I'm going to click on Get Add-ons, which is going to open up the web store here. It's called the G Suite Marketplace. Now, I have a G Suite account, um, which is the commercial version of Gmail. Um, it may say something different for just a regular consumer Gmail account, but all of the available add-ons will be the same. Now, there are a lot of add-ons available for uh, Google Docs, as well as the other applications in Google Drive. Um, by default, uh, these are the ones that work with Google Docs uh, that show up first, and they're all pretty highly rated, but if you'd like to browse the full list, you can go up to this menu on the top left, and it gives you some options to view add-ons by different categories. So, for example, we have business tools, productivity, education, and so on. Um, a lot of these are really cool. There are like integrations of mind mapping. There are applications to create um, rubrics for um, uh, educational projects. There are add-ons um, that allow you to insert mathematical formulas. I mean, there's really quite a lot of stuff here. Um, like right here is EasyBib. This is uh, a, an, a plugin that allows you to easily create bibliographies all formatted nice and everything. Um, similarly to what's um, installed in Word, that doesn't come by default with Google Docs, so using an add-on is a great way to add that feature. So at any rate, I'm going to use the Avery Label Maker add-on. So I'm gonna try this one right here that says Label Maker with Avery. So I'm going to click on that and uh, I'm going to install this. Um, when you're using a consumer Gmail account, these buttons are gonna look a little bit different. It's just gonna say install add-on. Because I'm using this with G Suite, I can install it for all of the users in my G Suite account or just mine. So I'm gonna install just mine. And uh, what uh, is going to happen is Avery needs permission uh, to work with your Google account. So this permissions box comes in. I'm going to use my email address here. It tells me what permissions it needs. It needs to uh, manage files in Google Drive, manage docs, uh, so on and so forth. All of this is, is fine. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and install that. And this may just take a moment here to uh, to load up. So before I get started using the Avery Label Maker add-on, I need to reload this document. And that's something you have to do, or as a good practice to do when you install a new add-on, is to reload the document so the add-on becomes active. Now if I go up to the add-on menu at the top of the screen, I have this Label Maker option, which I didn't have before, and now I can create labels. So when I click on that, this Create Label pops up. Now I'm not gonna be able to actually go through with this, because the whole idea with this plugin is I can take uh, information in a spreadsheet sheet and merge it to labels in a Google Doc, but I could select a spreadsheet from Google Docs. Um, this would actually bring up my entire Google Drive. I'm sorry, Google Drive, not Google Docs. Um, this would bring up my entire drive and I could find the spreadsheet I wanted to drive this data. Then I can choose a different type of label and it has every single Avery label in included with this. And then I would hit apply and it would then merge that information into the label. So that's uh, an example of the type of add-on that you can use with Google Docs. Now, if I wanted to remove this for some reason, let's say I got an add-on, I didn't like the way it worked or it didn't function properly. I can come back up to this add-ons menu and go to manage add-ons and it's gonna bring me to this pop-up here and what I can do is I can, it says that Avery is installed. I can come to these three dots and I can uninstall this uh, add-on. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the process of uninstalling it. Now, a quick note on these add-ons, um, they are, because there are a lot of them and it's kind of like the app store on your phone, there are some that are really great. There are some that are really not so great and don't work well. So, um, you know, I would recommend looking at the user ratings um, and you can also just try them out and you know, if they're not functioning very well, you can uninstall them. And there are usually a couple of different versions of a specific type of add-on. I don't know if you noticed there were two different kinds of Avery 
uh, label maker add-ons. So if one doesn't work well, there's usually an alternative. Um, and just another quick note, there are add-ons available for um, Google Slides and Google Sheets that are really great. Like I found a great one in Google Sheets that allows me to find and merge duplicate entries very quickly. So as you can see, there are a lot of add-ons for Google Docs. So I definitely recommend browsing to see what's available. The other thing is if you used Word in the past and switched to using Google Docs, and there were functions in Word that you used regularly that aren't in Google Docs natively, Browse around uh, the available add-ons because there may be an add-on that does that exact function, kind of like the EasyBib add-on. Uh, there is a sort of auto-generated bibliography in Word. There isn't that natively in Google Docs, but the add-on can set that up for you. So definitely um, take a look through, check to see if there are add-ons that you might need because it really opens up uh, Google Docs to a whole other world of productivity. Well, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, hit the subscribe button. We release new tech tips every weekday at noon, as well as two live stream projects every weekday at 10 and 2. And check out the DAE.com for our full list of online workshops and private lessons. And if you have an idea for a tech tip you'd like to see, or you found a really cool add-on for Google Docs that you'd like to share with me, throw it in the comments and I will definitely check it out. Thanks and have a great day.